Okay, friends, I've been trying to keep up with this Department of Justice um, leak in the state of California since earlier this week. You guys might remember that I made a phone call to the Department of Justice in California yesterday. I actually put this on uh, a video that I put out. Welcome to California Attorney General Rob Bonta's Public Inquiry Unit. I did that call at 11 o'clock yesterday morning, my time, Central Standard Time. In that call, I gave them my name and my phone number. That's all that I gave them. My first name, my last name, and my phone number, not the organization who I'm with. I didn't say anything about Legally Armed America, and I did not give them my email address. At about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock last night, Central Standard Time, my time, which would be 9, 10 hours later after I left that phone call, I got an email from the Department of Justice in California with their form letter that they were sending out to everybody who had reached out to them. Funny thing was, they had to look up my name or my phone number or both, cross-reference them, whatever they did, to find out who I was with Legally Armed America and then look up my email address, which is paul at Legally Armed America. My point is, I gave them none of that information. I didn't give them my email address, but they found me and email me this letter, which shows you how sneaky they are and w makes me wonder why they couldn't answer their phones if they took all that time to research who I was and what my email address was, why couldn't they just answer the phone? It would have taken a lot less time. But nevertheless, this is the letter that they sent out. It essentially goes on to say that the California Department of Justice has announced that personal information was disclosed in connection with the June 27th update of its firearm dashboard portal. Based on the department's current investigation, the incident exposed the personal information of individuals who were granted or denied a concealed and carry weapons permit between 2011 and 2021. Information exposed includes name, date of birth, gender, race, driver's license number, address, and criminal history. Everything you would need to create a fake account and steal somebody's ID was included in this. They claim that social security numbers or any financial information were not disclosed as a result of this event. How do we know that? We need to be subpoenaing what actually was out there. What other information was on there? Assault weapon registry, handgun certified for sale, dealer record of sale, firearm safety certificate, and gun violence restraining order dashboards. Essentially, red flag gun law information was included on there. We're taking the California Department of Justice's word that social security numbers and financial information was not disclosed. This is the same organization that accidentally leaked all of your information. I can assure you that I don't know about financial information, but I know the California Department of Justice has your social security number. They're saying it wasn't leaked, so you don't really panic because people are freaking out right now. They're thinking, well, let's just put them at ease and say that social security numbers were not included. Social security numbers were in this database. So we need to know without a doubt whether or not they were actually included because we're relying on the word <laughs> of the organization who leaked all this information to tell us that they didn't leak social security numbers, which really doesn't matter at this point. You got enough to steal people's um, identities already. One of the men at fault besides the governor, Newsom, is Attorney General Rob Bonta, who spearheaded this whole effort. He claims that this unauthorized release of personal information is unacceptable and falls far short of my expectations for this department. In other words, you got caught and you're very upset about it because whoever did this and allowed this to get out there wasn't supposed to be able to let it get tied back to you, right? I immediately launched an investigation. He immediately launched an investigation into himself, into how this occurred at the California Department of Justice, and we'll take strong corrective measures where necessary. The California Department of Justice is entrusted to protect Californians and their data. We acknowledge the stress this may cause those individuals whose information was exposed. I'm deeply disgusted and angered. You acknowledge the stress. 
Do you realize the anguish that goes along with that stress when all of these people will not just have their identity stolen, but they're also going to have liens put against their homes, um, their homes foreclosed, just a plethora of things that will come along with this because you've exposed so much of their data and information that people are probably already pulling loans off of these people's own property right now as a result of this. It goes on to say that after DOJ learned of the data exposure, the department took steps to remove the information from public view and shut down the firearms dashboard yesterday morning. I want to stress that they removed the information from public view because they put that in there. Words mean things. These people are putting words in there for a reason. This is their way of making it, making you understand, making you feel better, I should say, that they're not available for public view anymore, but all this information is still in there. All of it's still in there. None of this should have been on any kind of a online database anyway, whether it was encrypted or secured or whatever, but it is. And this is their way of saying all this information is still going to remain online. It's just that it's going to be behind a firewall or whatever. I'm not an IT guy, so I don't know the right terminology. But this information is not being taken out of the database. It's still going to be accessible, just not using their term, public view. Bonta goes on to say that they are going to notify people whose information was uh, disclosed and they go on to ask that anyone who accessed such information respect the privacy of the individuals involved and not share or disseminate any of the personal information. It's not going to be shared. It's going to be sold. This is very valuable information. This information sat out there for 24 hours. This information, they've proven, they've tracked that it was downloaded. It was copied. The information didn't just sit out there. They know that it was copied. Now, all of this is suspect timing. Let's not forget that this leak, this purposeful leak to expose all of the legal law-abiding gun owners in the state of California, which it's not just the ones who have permits. Let's not forget that this database also included people who applied and were denied. So it's way larger than the 200,000 that we're talking about in California. But this purposeful leak was done four days after the Supreme Court ruling that was going to strike down all of the really strict requirements in the state of California. They are butthurt. They are severely butthurt right now. And Bonta is one of them. Bonta had to reluctantly put out a letter last week stating that they would, the state of California would no longer be a May issue state, that they couldn't put those requirements in there anymore. But to show his real hand, Bonta also had his agency author a bill which would update the state's concealed carry law to make it more restrictive. Outside of the normal restrictions, they were also going to add that you needed to have three character witnesses. Three character witnesses that they get to decide if those are good enough character witnesses now. They can disqualify some of those character witnesses. So this just adds another layer of what they're going to try to require in the state of California. And you also will need to take an additional firearm storage and safety course on top of whatever you already have to take, which is required in the state of California. So they're purposely trying to make this more restrictive and harder to attain these things because, again, they're mad. I'm saying all this to point back to the reasons why this database was leaked online. This was done on purpose. They're pissed off. And they're showing you what they can and will do when you try to flood their system to apply for your new CCW because you've been turned down so many times. The hundreds of thousands of people who have been turned down. Okay, first of all, your records were included in that because you were turned down. You applied already. But they're showing any future people who never bothered to apply before, the hundreds and hundreds of thousands more, outside of those in the data breach, they're showing all of them, this is what we can, and this is what we will do. We will have your information. They're also expanding the number of designated sensitive places. Now, most of these sensitive places are gonna be the ones that we're already used to, like schools, colleges, government buildings, uh, some medical facilities, but they are making sure to include public transit, public parks, playgrounds, public demonstrations, and this is the one that people need to pay attention to, any place where alcohol is sold. Now I get a lot of people that respond on my videos 
especially when there's some kind of legal speak or something like that. And I am no attorney, but I can read words and I understand what they mean. Attorneys put words into this stuff for a very specific reason. And especially deceitful people like Bonta and his attorney general staff, they mean what they are saying. When we say where alcohol is sold, we are also talking about the 7-Elevens, the corner gas stations, a liquor store, uh, a grocery store if they're sold in there, um, anything like that. Guys, before anyone comments below, and says, oh, that's not what they mean. They mean bars. This is what they mean. Please keep those stupid comments to yourself. They are trying to expand this sensitive area to include as much as they can. And it seems and sounds legitimate whenever we say guns and alcohol don't mix. So if we put in there places where alcohol is sold, then we, surely that's a great idea, why don't we put places where alcohol is consumed, if that's really what you mean? Are these people that short-sighted and stupid, or do they really know what they're doing? They really know what they're doing. They're talking about where it's sold, not consumed. Now, remember, Bonta, his group authored this bill. And I'm going to keep reminding you of this. Same group that authored this bill to make it more restrictive is who accidentally leaked all your records earlier this week by accident. Now, it appears that nearly 600,000 records were leaked online and 242,727 individual applicants were among those. And also among those were 140 current or former judges. Now, state law in California prohibits the state from publishing the home address of an elected or appointed official without their permission. So if somehow the attorney general's office, including Bonta, the head AG, and the governor of California, Newsom, who that's who works for him, the AG, the attorney general's office, if somehow or another they skirt the fact that they purposely released all of this sensitive information, if they somehow or another are able to dodge this bullet, so to speak, of releasing all these records, which is illegal, there are laws for sure on the books that they broke the law with these 140 judges information and records that they also leaked. Guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit more research on this today. I'm going to reach out again to some folks in California uh, just to get a little bit more data and information on this. But make no mistake, it, it, as more data and information comes to light, the attorney general's office did this on purpose. This was not an accident. Um, this was not a leak. This was not a screw up. I called it a screw up on a video yesterday because I was trying to be a little sarcastic, but some of you called me on that and said, this was not a screw up. I, I acknowledge it's not a screw up. Um, this was done on purpose. Um, a lot of IT guys have also messaged me and pointed out that this kind of stuff doesn't happen accidentally. We were talking about current IT guys that have messaged me and they're like, you don't accidentally do this. That's not the kind of database that you go, oops, and it gets out there. They point out specifically and in data and lingo that I don't understand that this was purposely done and you have to mean to do this because this is not the kind of stuff that would just slide or slip through the cracks. First of all, my biggest problem is none of this information should have been entered into their database to begin with. If they have their own database that they use for legal reasons that's outside of the public's view, they should not be tapping into that same database in order to populate their online database, it should be two totally separate things. So they can have their own little database, their Nazi-like database in California that's private. And then if they wanna have another database that's open to the public, they enter all that data into there. It seems like they are using this same database to pull from, to populate this public database that's online. And they pulled information from that, that obviously now everybody can see. This is wrong. Everybody in the state of California should be paying attention to this. Everybody in the state of California that thinks that, well, I'm not a CCW holder, I don't own a firearm, so this doesn't apply to me. It very well may apply to you because if you applied in any kind of way, it includes you. And again, I wanna remind you, this is also including assault weapons, 
This is a database breach that is literally going to expose every single person that has been involved or wanted to be involved in firearms in any kind of way in the state of California. This is going to affect you. And believe me, this list will be used to intimidate you and to make you feel like you need to not be what you are, which was a freedom-seeking, Second Amendment-supporting American. Guys, don't abandon that. And you guys in California who are seeing this and you, you had designs to apply for your own concealed carry, don't let this intimidate you. Please don't let this intimidate you. Go forward with what you wanted to do. Apply for your concealed carry permit um, and do everything you need to do to push back against this government because these, these tyrannical people are doing this on purpose. This was meant as an intimidation effort to keep the hundreds of thousands of new concealed carry carriers from applying. The timing is not even suspect. The timing is obvious.